It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold, revealing we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this Last Day's Church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. And thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here and continue as we are here watching together with you and praying with you as the signs of the last day's prophecies reveal we are nearing the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church and it's time to prepare right now. There's news where there have been reports of mysterious and strange rods of light in the heavens where these luminous rods were seen floating in the air and the skies above countries on both sides of the world. And the prophecies of the Holy Bible foretell that in the last days there will be perplexing signs in the heavens that are signs pointing to the rod of power of the Lord God that is soon coming, that is a comfort to his saints, and a warning of discomfort to the disobedient. From the Pacific to the Atlantic and the Indian Oceans, media have been reporting the sight of luminous rods of light seen in the skies over various nations. These strange luminous rods floating through the skies were reported seen by the citizens of countries such as Argentina, Chile, and Brazil. One was filmed by a UFO researcher and Petrobras engineer who had cameras set up to monitor the night sky near Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where the cylindrical object glided into the frame, and then the object of bright light traveled out of sight in the heavens. Another witness, in Argentina, filming with her phone, captured a similar looking object moving through the sky over their house. Another witness in Chile also videoed another incident of a blue cylindrical rod of light floating through the sky. Also, the residents of a town on the Brazilian border with Uruguay saw one that they said appeared to change color from white to blue and then to yellow as it moved across the sky above. All the objects described by the various witnesses were said to look similar with the same behavior, but with some of them with various different colors of illumination. People that saw it were baffled as to what it could be, with some saying that it was a UFO. Some said that it was Starlink, the network of satellites launched by Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, which launches strings of satellites grouped together, which I've seen them, and you probably have too, that appear traveling together through the night sky, but those appear as a trail of distinct, separated little dots that follow each other through the sky and look nothing like what these witnesses described for these rods of light in the heavens. Also, the engineer I mentioned at the Brazilian oil firm Petrobras, that is a prominent UFO researcher in Brazil, he said that there were no Starlink satellite trains confirmed to be visible at the time and location of his UFO sightings. So the witnesses were baffled as to what these UFOs could be. And then, near the same time frame, on the other side of the world in Japan, there were also columns or pillars of light that were seen in the night sky there as well, where witnesses said that white columns or rods of light were seen in the skies over Japan. 
The unusual incident left residents there that witnessed it also baffled, with them wondering what these UFOs could be. As people shared the photos or videos of what they witnessed, where the columns are rods of light standing out sharply against the dark sky, with some saying that it resembled some scene out of an alien invasion movie. Some gave the reason for these strange sights in the sky over, J over Japan was because of fishing boats offshore whose fishing lights were reflecting off the water and up into ice crystals in the night sky. But the same exact phenomenon of these pillars or rods of light in the sky also happened not long ago over Texas and over Egypt where no fishing boats were involved in play and the phenomenon was unexplained. And when you look at the photos shared on social media that you're seeing, for these events in Japan, the lights do not look connected to the ground. And there have been different colors of lights or rotating colors of lights that have been associated with all these phenomena in the sky that I've described. Actually, there's still a lot about the world and our universe that we don't fully understand, causing us sometimes to scratch our heads in wonder over what we see in the skies over our planet. And then there is certainly that which is from beyond the natural as described in the Holy Bible scriptures. The Holy Bible reveals to us in Genesis 28 in the dream of Jacob's ladder, how that there are angels of light always ascending and descending upon the earth. And the prophet Daniel said he saw them. Where in Daniel chapter 10, he describes an angel that had come to earth where he said his face was bright with light that had the appearance of lightning and his eyes were like torches of fire in their phenomena. And the Revelation prophecy describes how that the veil between the natural and the supernatural becomes thin and lifted with biblical manifestations of angels of light who stand over the earth. Could some of these phenomena that look like luminous rods of light that have recently been seen floating across the night sky, could they be biblical signs? commanding our attention, warning us to realize that the near, nearness of the mysteries of God in his prophecies are soon to be finished upon the earth as the Lord God declared to his servants, the prophets. Lord Jesus Christ prophesied in Luke chapter 21 that in the last days there will be sights that are signs in the heavens that will be perplexing, which are Signs that are pointing out that soon mankind will see the coming of the Lord. And Bible prophecy also specifically calls out that in the last days it will happen where there will be signs in the heaven and signs on the earth happening together. Where Joel chapter 2 and Acts chapter 2 foretell there will be wonders in both heaven above and signs in the earth beneath that are shown in the last days. And it's interesting how that often when there are significant events, conflict and war upon the earth, that then there are also unidentified aerial phenomena associated, which are seen in the skies above. Like when Russia invaded Ukraine with war raging there, there were also UFOs seen in the skies over Ukraine. Could it be an indication of the fallen angels who first began conflict and war against the Lord God, who are masquerading with powers of light in the air over the dominions where they have been able to foster their creation of war as they take glee in the potential for destruction of humanity through weapons of war? Signs in both the heavens above and in the earth beneath. They are also indicating that soon there will be a great sign in the heavens that is only seen by the church of Jesus Christ. 
where there will be great lightning in the clouds that comes from the east and flashes to the west, as the Lord Jesus himself will descend from heaven with a shout in his countenance that shines like the sun as his church is taken by him up into the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, according to the First Thessalonians chapter 4 prophecy of Scripture. And the holy prophecies of the Lord also foretell that there will be a rod that will come. The Isaiah 11 prophecy says that there shall become a there shall come a rod from the stem of Jesse who comes in righteousness to the earth. And while the Psalm 23 prophecy says that the rod of the Lord comforts his children, the Psalm 110 prophecy also says that his rod will strike and rule over his enemies in the day of his power of judgment. For the end time described in the revelation of Christ Jesus reveals how that the Lord shall rule the nations with his rod of iron when he treads the winepress of his fierceness as King of kings and Lord of lords. And these rods of light seen in the heavens now over the world could now be a comforting sign to the Lord's saints that their Lord and King is coming soon for them at the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us. While also, at the same time, these signs can be a sign of warning to the peoples of the nations that the Lord of Lords and King of Kings is soon to come with his rod of his judgment to tread his judgment with them in the day of the Lord upon the nations. Most certainly, these events happening now in the world that are connecting directly to the end time are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age. And it's revealing its time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church, so to be saved from the wrath of the vengeance that will come by obeying the commandment of the Lord Jesus that he gave in John chapter 3 and verse 3 and John chapter 3 and verse 5, where Jesus said, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Where Lord Jesus said, you must be born again of the water and spirit, or one cannot enter the kingdom of God according to the Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus Christ sanctioned only his chosen apostle in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19, to be the one to tell the world how to be born again of water and spirit, as Jesus gave that apostle the keys to the kingdom of God, with Lord Jesus saying that what that chosen and sanctioned apostle preached was bound, recorded in heaven, which is eternal, for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the Acts of the Apostles preaching, in Acts chapter 2 in Jerusalem, the one sanctioned, chosen by Lord Jesus Christ, preached how to be born again of water and spirit through the Christ Jesus. And then in Acts chapter 10, he preached how to be born again of water and spirit through Jesus Christ to the Gentiles. And in Acts chapter 19, the Apostle Paul also preached to the Gentile nations the same exact message that the Apostle Peter gave. The chosen apostles of Jesus preached how to be born again of water and baptism through the name of Lord Jesus and to be filled with the Holy Ghost of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the prophetic signs of the last day's prophecies we're seeing now are screaming at the world that it's imperative that everyone whosoever will that has ears to hear and that has a heart of good ground to receive and obey the acts of the preaching of Jesus Christ and his apostles in their holy scriptures that they prepare now according to what Lord Jesus and his apostles actually preached in the acts of their preaching in the Holy Bible. And if you need help, finding someone to biblically baptize you and pray for you where you are located. 
according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles actually in the Bible. You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is on our website, signsofthelastdays.org. Just go down to the very, very bottom of the website page. We're in the smaller print of the footer. You'll find our email address. And then email us, giving us the name of your town and your state and your zip code. And we will help you just like we've helped scores of other people all across the United States and in other nations. We look forward to hearing from you. As here, this Signs of the Last Days church community, we're getting ready to go to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. And we want everyone to be a part. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream as our watch and, lay, watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evenings, where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening. And then as a last day's church community, we testify to one another and we pray live over you and your prayer requests together as a real last day's church in the Lord Jesus Christ. We welcome everyone to come to that. We'll also... Watch the signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening. We'll testify with the staff of testimony. We'll blow the trumpet, the chauffeur of Zion. And we'll also play with instrument and sing the songs of the Lord to bless and encourage one another as we walk together to the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ. So please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Significant, amazing prophetic signs are happening now in world events that biblical prophecy reveals to us. You'll hear things preached here on this Signs of the Last Days ministry channel that you don't hear in the same way anywhere else. Because Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, Bible scriptures of truth and through the Holy Spirit of truth is opening up and revealing his prophetic word to his last day's church in these last days. Come and hear it. You want to be a part of it. As we watch and pray as the believers of the Lord Jesus, as we watch and pray just as the Lord Jesus told us to be looking up for the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Signs of